can do more searching later. I just want to get to Megaton right now. Slowly but surely. Do do do. Yeah. Some. Um, this is a uh, Capital Wasteland, A.K.A. what used to be D.C. Um, this probably was more of the suburb area. I'm walking into a post, or actually a sign right now. So. If you don't know anything about the story of this, I will link um, videos to the basically the lore of Fallout, so you can kind of understand what this whole thing is about. Um, anyways, these games, just Fallout in general, is freaking amazing. And I love them so goddamn much. So I am just pumped to do this Let's Play. So, we're gonna have tons of fun doing this. Is that an ant? That is an ant. Ugh. <sighs> Yawn. Look at that little sheriff's hat. So adorable. There's a dude up there. What? What is he? I always wondered, like, what he uses. Is that like a sniper rifle? Is that? Please help me. Please. What? Oh. Hello. Don't have water. I don't think. Yeah, I want to. can't tell. Looked like a M M4 A1 maybe with an A point. But who knows. Where will you be in the Holocaust? Another newcomer. Name's Lucas Sims. Town Sheriff and Mayor too when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Nice town you got here, Sheriff. It's a pleasure to meet you. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Right message received. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Nope. Mind your manners now. Will do, sir. Now I just need to get to the store, which is all the way up there. Huh. Just took a casual walk. I'm almost I'm actually I'm almost dead as well. Hey there. Hello. It's a very sick looking two headed cow. <sighs> Crater side supply. really not open oh my god 723 really really junk is my business That stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. 
I'm Moira Brown. I run Crater Sides. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Sure. I've got plenty to say great. about vault life. Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life. Or, or to come outside for the first time. Or whatever strikes your fancy. It was paradise down there. No fear, no worries, no fighting. Until Dad left. A runaway Dad, huh? I've seen plenty of them before. But none with the big 101 on their back. Good luck finding him. Maybe the armored vault suit will help you out there, huh? That'll be good for the book. In fact... Want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Why, that sounds like a good idea. Pay, what sort of pay, and what sort of work? Let's see. Dealing with radiation, testing an experimental device, and, I won't lie, it may include some reading. That sort of stuff, you know? But for all that, I can pay you with caps, meds, chems, and maybe even a few of those unique inventions, if you do a good job. Interested? Sounds interesting. Sounds good. Tell well, me more. It's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Sounds like a great idea. I can't wait to help. Good enthusiasm! Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, <laughs> sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Um... How about food? Well... Food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old super duper mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Okay, I'll check the super duper oh, mart. Great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Sounds like a good idea. Let me see what you have what you for mean? sale. So we've got our pistol, which is perfectly, mostly in good condition. So meaning, sell these two. Keeping the childhood stuff. Rag grenades, I'll keep those as well. Batons, we don't need the batons. Sell those, get a hundred. Caps. What else can we get? We can also get. Alright, sell the hockey mask, actually. Keeping that. Tinted reading glasses, actually. Hmm. Hmm. Let's actually sell those. Okay, let's see here. Fault 101 jumpsuits. We will keep one of them, so we'll keep the dandiest one, obviously. Get rid of that one, get rid of these two, those. Fault security armor. And. Don't really need any of them. Security helmet. Maybe one. Uh, utility jumpsuit, we'll keep both of those, we can repair them. Yeah. Vault lab uniform, we'll keep that as well. We've got all this stuff, rad roach meat. Ooh, that's a lot of. That actually is worth quite a bit of caps. And it's got. Uh, it's not really good stuff to eat, anyways, because it's 
got a lot of radiations. So let's just sell that. Miscellaneous. Bone saw. Um, I think we do we I don't think we do need a bone saw actually. We don't need that, we don't need a clipboard, we don't need coffee mugs, don't need cups, don't need drinking glasses, we don't need earnings clipboard, empty syringes, forceps, glass pitchers, hot plate, medical clipboard, we will need paint guns. Scalpel we don't need, scissors we don't need, shot glasses we do not need. Tin cans we actually will need. <laughs> Surprisingly. Toaster, nope. Tweezers, no. Wonder glue, yes. Wrench, uh, no. And that's all that good stuff. Now what are you willing to trade for all those wonderful caps? Holy bejesus, you've got, first of all, you've got some shotguns, two of them. I do. Eh, not a bad amount of damage. You got these bad boys. I do quite a bit of damage. Damn. They're expensive as hell though. Yeah, leather armor. Radiation suits. <laughs> Food and stuff. We'll come back for all that stuff in a second. Let's look what you can give us right now. You can give us a water purifier. That's actually not bad. Portable bed wouldn't be bad either. And a field grill. Schematics. Dog pack. Dog whistle. Forgot what that's for. I don't remember. Trunk metal blade. Leather dog armor. Rocket launcher. <laughs> Ammo. Ten millimeter bullets. Bullets. I think we'll keep what we have right now. So, question is, what? What should we do? I think honestly, the best course of action right now is probably go with the route of buy the two shotguns buy some shotgun shells keep the rest of the money oops fifteen oh we can buy more fifteen fifteen thirty yeah, why not just buy them all? Fifty-six caps. Good hunting. So I thank you. Have fun out there. Well, let's see what we can. All right. Actually, wait. I want to get a our, our house really quickly. And to do that, we must do something. And I, what is with everyone having to be asshats? My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope, my dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burton. And you, well, you are not a resident of this 
putrescent cesspool and makes you a rather valuable individual. If you've got a point, make it. As you wish. I'm looking to employ an individual with no ties to Megaton, no interest in its future. Megaton is obsolete, the last vestige of a cobbled, desperate past. It needs to go away, and you are going to see that it does. You're a sick man, Burke. This conversation is over. It seems I have misjudged you. Very well. I'll simply find someone with a more entrepreneurial spirit. The day. You're on your piece of junk. Now, what do we do? Do to do. do. Ah. Oh. That's probably not too good. Hello? <laughs> well, we're already almost dead. Fancy that. I thought you grab the shotgun out. Can I actually repair those? No, I cannot. Wait, actually. Uh, I met a man named Burke. He said he'd pay me to rig the bomb to explode. He said what? Oh, I never did like the look of him. What if he asked someone else to explode the bomb? You should do something. Good point. Come with me. You're about to get an education in wasteland justice. Why isn't this working for iron sights? That's weird. Hey there. Normally this thing has iron sights and where am I going? That's really weird. I wonder why it does that. Hmm. Oh well. It is what it is. I don't see me using this thing too much anyways. I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. Explain news. your business your in Megaton. Your signal's been shit lately. Burke. I'm sorry. Come on, Shit, Burke. What are you all about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. The bomb. You're trying to blow it up. Have you lost your goddamn mind? I'm afraid there's been a <laughs> misunderstanding. Someone's sure to spread the rumors. I'll be sure to address the situation. The person. I'm placing you under arrest for at least until I figure out what the hell's going on around. I'm afraid I won't be able to oblige your request, Sheriff. I have pressing matters to attend to. Now, step aside. This isn't open to discussion. You're coming with me. Why do you knuckle-draggers always insist on doing things the hard way? Very well, Sheriff. Lead the way. Oh, he's pulling his gun. I saw it. I saw it. Don't judge me, I saw it. No! No! I, I'm dead.
Damn it! <laughs> Let's reload that section. I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The on station Perk. comes in fine. Explain your business in Megaton. Their signal's been shit lately. I'm sorry. I shall. Oh, what are you oh, on about? Perk. You know damn well what I'm talking about. The bomb. You're trying to blow it up. Have you lost your goddamn mind? Goddamn radio. Sure. Uh, I just hey, knock it off. Good to see you're staying out of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we do it. Let's discuss this what bomb. It? I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Why? You think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? Yeah, I can. Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. Make it 1 million caps. That's pretty stupid. Oh. Uh, fine. Uh, do it and you'll get your money. Don't screw up, though. Or we'll all regret it. I didn't think that was actually gonna work. Carry on. Burke, thank you, my good man. God, I'm almost dead. Let's go back down here. Yeah, yeah. Eh, not die. He's coming with the clouds, and every eye shall be blind with his glory. Every ear shall be stricken deaf. To hear the thunder of his voice. Done, Sheriff, where are you? What is that a cattle oh that's a cattle prod. Where is he? Where'd he go? Anyone see him? Lucas. Where did you Oh, he's right there. Not jump right there. Didn't you? You disarmed that thing. Here's your reward. Hell, why don't you move in? Could use someone like you. Got an empty place here you can use. Here's the key indeed. It ain't much to look at, but talk with Moira. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. Thank you, my good man. Later. Time to go to our new place. Hopefully not die at the same time. Very quickly. Oh, okay. 
Okay, you're almost full. Do 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 Look at our new house. So lovely, isn't it? Let's just put some junk away. Eh, yeah, you know what? I'll do this off camera. In the next episode. See you guys.